Hi there, my name's Beth, and today I have for you my Reading Rush wrap up. I actually did it, guys. I actually participated in a readathon and I read some books, and I'm gonna tell you about them. Um, also, I'm trying a different camera, and I'm trying a different angle, and I'm rearranging, so this is like the only clean space right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna test out the next couple of videos. Might look a little weird, because they're gonna be slightly different, but yeah, that's what I got. Um, so, originally, this was my TBR for the week, and uh, what I actually read was this. What? So I haven't read a book in like two and a half years. Sorry, I've read one. And I actually read uh, one, two, three, four, five, six books and started a seventh. And we're gonna talk about that. So I have literally everything written down on my computer here. I have you situated above it, so this is weird. It's different being like, oh hey, here's a computer where I normally film and now you're above it and tomorrow you could be over there or next week because let's not get crazy, Beth. This isn't going to be daily. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to go through the books I actually read, how I rated them, and uh, what challenges they covered. And if you want to see like, what my TBR actually was to start with, I'll link that down below and then you can see. But this is the wrap up, so this should be a little more fun. So the first uh, book, well, okay. So I didn't finish my first book until Wednesday, but on Monday and Tuesday, I started two books and then Wednesday, I just kind of picked up one and read it all and then also finished more. Cool. I'm getting ahead of myself. This new angle is exciting. <laughs> so the first book I actually finished was Good Morning, Good Night by Lin-Manuel Miranda. This is Little Pep Talks from Me to You. And uh, this was 200 pages, super fast. And this was the book I chose for the read the book all in one location. Read your bot book in the same spot the whole time. That's it. Cool. Um, this was so fast to read. I read it in like 45 minutes. It's only 200 pages, but it's like little pep talks. It's so fast. The illustrations are so cute. And yeah, I really enjoyed this. I would definitely reread this one. I gave this a five star. Um, because I would reread it and it was simple. But also I feel like it would be something I would reread in like, read the good morning ones one morning and then the good night one a night and like have it for a few months, read it over the course of a few months by just reading like a page a day. And yeah, so five star, first book, perf. I don't know where I'm putting this. So the next book, I completed, that one fell, the next book I completed was Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. This was the book I meant to read last year, and uh, I didn't, but I read it this year, and most of this I listened to was an audiobook, and then I read some, so I kind of switched between, I did that with one, two, three, yeah, three of the six and a bit books I read. So. It honestly was just easier to kind of listen to the audiobook and read it at the same time or listen to the audiobook while I'm like going back and forth to work and a little bit at work, but shh, and uh, then reading it at home. But yes, I loved this. I did a review of this book and that's also on my channel, so I'll link that down below. And I gave this book five stars. I'm really glad I read this. The next book I completed, check my list here, cool. So the next book I completed, I finished on Friday, and uh, this book took me the longest to read, but I did like it. And that is 
Looking for Alaska, also by John Green. This is the book that I had for the author's first book. And uh, yes, I enjoyed this. I didn't enjoy it as much as Turtles All the Way Down, and I didn't enjoy it as much as The Fault in Our Stars. So I gave this a three stars, which I know seems kind of harsh, but also I feel like it might be more of like a three and a half. Um, Goodreads doesn't let you do halves. <sighs> Tiny complaint. But yes, this book, uh, I know everyone has read it because John Green is a very well-read author. And yes, so three, three and a half stars for this one. And this was challenge number three I completed. The next book I read, I ended up doubling up one of the challenges. I know in my original TBR I had seven books, seven challenges, and then I would also get the read seven books challenge badge. <sighs> but I had to double up because the one I originally picked for my TBR for one challenge, I just could, I did not get to. It's not that I could not, it's that I did not. So the, so the, <sighs> The fourth book I completed was Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So cute. Loved it. Um, I gave this book a four out of five stars. This book, again, everyone's read it. Um, this book completed my book to movie adaptation challenge, which I haven't watched the movie yet because I checked all over every streaming service and it's not on there. <sighs> Silly Canada. Anyways, um, I also lumped this one for the challenge of a book with five or more words in the title because there are six. Perfect. So the next book I read, all of my books are falling. The next book I read was a fast one and that was Rat Queens, Volume 1. Um, I'm not complete. I'm not finishing this series. I've read the first volume. I, it was okay. I gave this two stars. <sighs> I don't know. I have a lot of feelings about this. Um, this completed the purple on the cover challenge, because there is purple on the cover, but yes, um, I also, I wanted to throw a graphic novel into my TBR, and I'm kind of upset I chose this one, but also not super, because I know, since I'm not going to be continuing on, I don't need to keep it. So, it'll probably be unhauled real soon. Two stars on that one. Yes, so the uh, final book I completed, number six, was Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. This book was the uh, book with a non-human main character challenge, and yes, I gave <laughs> this book, oh my goodness, I have so many feelings right now. I gave this book a 2.5 stars. I don't know if, so my first kind of flaw in this book was that it's the junior classics for young readers, and so I feel like if I had read actual book I would have enjoyed it more but I think this is like a condensed version for younger people I don't know but um also I just didn't really get into the story at any point and I found myself just kind of wanting to pick it up to finish it but not actually for the story. Like, I wanted to finish the challenge, and I didn't actually really care what was happening in the book. So, yes, I did finish it. Um, two and a half stars. So, the seventh book I had on my TBR, I need to escape for a sec, so one sec. The seventh book I had was The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. I don't know why I had to look at that. I've looked up this book on Audible and the library everywhere and it's I can't find it as an audiobook guys I just can't so uh yeah I did not get to this one I think I read like two pages out of it 
and I just wasn't in the mood for it. But also I consider this a reread because I did read it a few years ago. I read a lot of books a few years ago. Um, yeah, so I read this one a few years ago, but it did not make it into my uh, wrap up. Sorry guys. But I did start a seventh book, which would have been part of my August TBR. And so I'm just getting ahead of the game here. And that is Hollow City, the second book in the Miss Peregrine series by Ransom Riggs. And uh, I'm... Oh, I don't even know how far into this I am. I'm like 140 pages in. Yeah, so I'm like a third of the way into this. So I did not finish it. This wouldn't have completed any challenge besides the read seven books challenge, which wasn't my goal. Honestly, my goal was to read like five books for this entire year. So I'm uh, doing great. I've read six and a bit. But yeah, so that was my reading rush wrap up. And uh, I completed all of the challenges that they originally gave. I read six books, so I'm kind of upset that I didn't get to that seventh. I attempted, but yes. Anyways, how was reading rush for you guys? And uh, in the comments below, let me know how you did and what challenges you did and didn't complete. Did you stick to your TBR? Also, uh, do we like the new camera stuff. I don't know what this is. This will not be back. And is this a good like spot? Should I figure out something else? Be suggest. Also check out my review of Turtles All the Way Down if you want and my original TBR which is a little less like blah. I've had a lot of coffee today and I'm sorry. But yeah. So be prepared for in a couple of days an August TBR because I'm gonna start reading again. It's weird, I know. And probably an unhaul in like a couple of weeks because I have a lot of books that I don't think I'll actually read. And then also I'm gonna have an actual book haul in a, a week or a few days because I have some books coming in the mail. And you're probably thinking, you haven't read, why are you ordering books? Because I'm gonna unhaul a lot and I'm trying to rebuild the books I have with the books I'm actually interested in reading. In. Yeah, never mind. I have to go. Okay, so until next time, have a great day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you again really soon.